Hey everybody, this is Steve Chase here from Sequential Solutions. We're gonna look at running at the invoices and receive payments report in QBO. So first you're gonna go over to the reports, tap on the left side, scroll down into the sales and customers, and you will see invoices and receive payments. Where did we get that? right here it is actually sorry it's gonna be who owes you so invoices and received payments that's the one we want <clears throat> all right once you run that you'll want to make sure a couple things here first you're gonna to want to make sure you have the current date range if you don't see anybody it's quite possible that you have it set for last month or so or you know you might have some snare where you need to change it up here so I'm gonna do all dates. Um, another thing that can be really handy is to see how much they owe, um, because it's kind of hard to see. For example, this twin lane right here um, looks like they owe us four bucks, but I want to see that because we have fifty payment on a fifty-four dollar invoice. So how do we do that? All you have to do is scroll up, click on the customize menu here open up the rows filters and then click change columns. And if you click open balance and then run report, that's gonna bring on the new open balance field here. So that will uh, be just as we thought. There it is right there, $4. Kind of runs that, that trail there. Okay, let's keep playing around here. A few more things here, customize again. Um, I like to have the payment method. I also like to show the AR paid. And those two will be great. Uh, let's take a look at sent as well and hit run report. Okay, so that's really handy here to see the ones that are paid or unpaid. Just like that. Um, so the scent, uh, I would think that that's going to be sent out there, but I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and um, try to send this out real quick here, see if that populates here. I'm going to open up this invoice here. I'm not quite sure. We're going to try it in the test drive here. Okay, okay, send and close. There's a fake email here. Yeah, can't send it here, but it, it sees that it, it did, that's what that's good. I wanted to see a little marker here. In the event <clears throat> that you email your invoices out, you might notice that one wasn't set. That could be handy um, as well. Once you have everything that you kind of like and the dates and all such, you can click Save Customization. Um, give it a name. Save it out. And then going forward, you'll be able to go to the reports, custom reports, and that's the one that you'll see right there that you can run at any time here. Pretty awesome. Hey everybody, thanks for watching and hope you have a great time enjoying working with QuickBooks Online.